I'm Dale with Grand Trunk, and today we're going to talk about how to use the Grand Trunk hammock straps. Each set of straps comes with two straps to set up a hammock, and each strap has two sides. One of the sides has all of the adjustment points, and then the other we'll call the main loop. So you start by taking the main loop and wrapping it around the tree. Some trees are a little awkward to get it around, but there you go. The further apart you are from your other tree, the higher on the tree you'll wanna go. So I'm setting this one up at about five feet because we're about 14 feet across. You'll take the main loop and throw the side with all the adjustment points through and then set it tight. We wanna make sure that we don't have uh, any bends in, in the line. So we actually had one back here. So we're gonna even it out. There you go, then you pull it tight. Now we're gonna go to the other side and set up the other strap. Now that we've set up our hammock straps, we're gonna set up our hammock. Today I'm gonna to use a Grand Trunk hammock, um, Trunk Tech, but you could use any hammock with carabiners or hooks on our trunk straps. So each side has the carabiner, and what you're going to do is go up to the suspension and make sure to securely mount it in. So I'm gonna eyeball how much I need to, how much space I need between the two anchor points set it up, and now we go to the other side. When setting up a hammock, it's important to note that you don't want it to be a straight line. You want some sag in the hammock, more like a smile or a banana, right? Now that the hammock's set up, I'm gonna take a look at it and see it does have some good sag. It's not too far off the ground. And as I sit in it, it's gonna be at a comfortable height. And I'm safely in the hammock with weeds on my shoe, but there you go. That's how to set up the hammock. 